hello hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel you are um i'm so happy you're here today and um before we start please uh subscribe and click on the notification bell um so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video okay and also thank you all for subscribing and commenting and telling me how the videos are helping you guys i'm here to teach you whatever i can and if you come with more uh, suggestions and um, questions i can make that video for you so that you can see um, how certain things are done in inkscape um also there's a, a, a discussion se section on my on my channel you can go there and leave me some comments leave me some questions and i'll, I'll be sure to answer them okay today i want to talk about the bca tool or in 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 inkscape we call it bca tool but in um photoshop they call it pen tool it's the same thing um and it can it can do wonders for you if you know how to uh, um, work with it it's a very important tool it, it for me it does everything that i it, it, it i use it in everything that i create in all my images it's a very 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 useful to, tool okay um uh, ooh, the first thing we're going to do we're going to save our file file um save as I'm going to save it as a svg file so that um i can change some stuff in it when i want i save it in my pictures <coughs> my picture library we'll name it the bessier tool the bessier tool uh-huh and I'll save it as a SVG. Save. Okay, you see here the BCA tool. I've saved it. Okay, the BCA tool. What does it do? Like they say, we're going to see what it does today. Okay, <clears throat> the BCA tool. With the BCA tool, you can um, make lines and stuff and all these things. Okay, but the BCA tool, it doesn't work. I don't use it on its own. I use it together with a, a nude editor um, because um, some people can really use it to make uh, curves and all those things but I leave that off for the for the pros I use it like this like how I'm going to show you and uh, I have I've, 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 um, accomplished a lot with it and today I'm gonna show you how you can use it too okay um, let me say this uh, when you use the BCA tool, the way I'm going to show it to you is that every curve that you want to make, you will have to make a straight line with the BCA tool first. Every curve. Uh, because when you make the straight line like this, you have your straight line, we will go to the node editor, this one here, and we will go and drag it to make a curve. You see, to make the curve. And when you click on here, you will see handles you click back on here you see handles with these handles you can move the the, the the cursor wherever you want you can move it here if you want you can drag it you see that you can move it the way you want so like i told you every uh, like roundish part that you want to create in your image uh, images you want to create you have to make a straight line with the bca tool and after you make the straight line you go to this node editor and then you move it like this then you move it with um you see you move it and um you click here and you get those handles you get the handles and then you use the handles to make it rounder you see if you want to um uh, uh, make a uh, uh, add a, uh, one more part you double click on it when you double click you get a, a another node and then you can move it the way you want you see that you want to add one more part and then double click again you add another node you see like you move it like you want to okay let's go to the bc tool okay here i have the bc tool 
for um when i create things with it when i uh, you see you click click drag if you want to stop here you click again drag click drag click drag click and then click here and then you you, you connect it and then you get it okay let me <laughs> I'm going to do right now I'm going to show you how I draw a flower like a normal flower with five petals on it so and I'm going to use the, the pen tool I'm going to use this one to draw a flower with five petals think in your mind um every curve that I want to make I will have to make a straight line first when I make the straight line I will go to the node editor and use it to you know to bend it to to curve it away okay so the flower with five petals will be a pentagon we create a pentagon first okay i go to my um basic tool one two three four five it, sh it doesn't have to be a, a perfect pentagon but uh, um, this one is good. Um, I'll go to the node editor. And then, let me go closer. And then I'm going to start. Look, if I want to move this here, I can move. You see, can do this. I can, I can, actually, I can make it perfect. But it won't be perfect, I know. See, okay. And now I will, you see, I will stay, stand here. And you see, I will pull it like this. Pull it like this, pull it like this, like I want a flower with five petals. Okay, and now I told you about the handles. I'm going to click here. You see, I got the handles, and I'm going to form it like I want to. And then we drag it a little bit on the, to the inside. You see, and do this, and I'll drag it back here. And then I'll push this here. You see that? Mm -hmm. And I'll drag it a little bit in here. Don't be afraid to move it. If you make a mistake, you undo it by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Mm -hmm. We want a flower. Yep. Oh yeah, this flower. You see the handles? The handles will help you a lot. Let's push this more. And we have we have our flower. Okay, you see the flower of form that I was telling you with five petals. Okay, now you see I selected it. But if you want to color it, you have to deselect it. You know, click on the side and then go to the paint bucket. And we're going to change the color. Let's make it red. You see, I, I deselected it, and now I'm going to stand inside. And I'll click on it and I'll fill it and then I will remove my flower you see that we have a flower and then I'll go here to the um, um the circle creator and I'll make a circle <coughs> and I'll make it yellow and you see it became a flower you see but we did it with the PCA tool you did it this way you see that we, every a straight line, every curve that we wanted was a straight line. And actually this was a pentagon. You see that? If you want it with six petals, you make a hexagon. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you go, yeah, you, you know what I mean. I mean, you guys are smart people. You know what I mean. Okay, this is our flower. The next thing we're going to do, we can make a leaf. Okay, think about a leaf. A leaf is like like a normal cartoon leaf. It will go from here. Oh, no, sorry. It will go like he, um, here and here, come back down. Like something like this. That means we're talking about a triangle. A triangle. Okay, we'll do a triangle. Check it out. Click here drag click come back down click yep a triangle and then we go to our lovely uh, note editor and then we'll drag it like this you see that drag it 
and make it smaller and use your you see that you can shake it like this mm -hmm. like this and then we deselect it we deselect it and go back to this and we're going to make our paint blue or green and go here and click on the inside and then remove it and then make it smaller come on let me see make it smaller oh make it smaller and then we can add it here let's see here and then we select it and go to object lower to bottom and then we lower it to the bottom if you see this cost no thing and on oh, oh, deselect it right here okay let's say we want one more go into right click and duplicate it and move it to this side double click you click twice on it and then you can rotate it yep you can rotate it on this uh, and put it here and then we go back to object this is the object i'm going to lower this object to the bottom yep and now we have like this yeah yeah like this flowery thingy okay that's it okay for instance um we want to draw a fish like a simple cartoon fish we will use the same method we use here go back to a bca tool um click um go back click like a tiny triangle go back here we're going to draw a fish fish for instance you know make it a little bit um, uh, um chubby like a fish uh, let me find this handle like a cute fish fish okay and then excuse me i'll draw one more triangle for the tail this will be like this 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 okay and then we we'll go to the node editor and then we go i think like this a fish okay i'm not a pro drawing fishes but like this you see that and then this is a simple fish we're gonna draw like a um goldfish yes okay i'll move this a little bit move this a little bit and then i will go to the bucket again and i'll select it and color it i'll color this and then i'll change the color okay and then i will let's say yeah let's say orange fish we talk about goldfish okay and then i will drag it out and i will drag this out too it looks like a rocket more more than a fish okay and then i'll select both and i'll i will go to pad and i will unite them so that it can be one piece you see and if i wanted to put the eye for the fish let's say a yellow eye put the eye right here and i have my fish you see the wonders that uh I group it you see the wonders that you can do with your bca tool okay this we we use the bca tool here for the stroke and now um let me do it fast with the um with the ellipse for instance um i want to draw a face i'll take this again the bca tool and i will let's do it here right quick um you go you see when you click the bca tool here will open and say shape none you click here and you take ellipse this one 
and when you draw with the ellipse like click drag click right click let's do it again come on let's do it again you click click you drag it and you click again sorry and you click again and then you right click when you right click you cut it and after you've done all this you see you have this it's not a, a, a it's not a line anymore like this or like a stroke this is actually a fill but don't worry about it um, um look how you handle this after you've done this you go to the node editor and you see when you go when you stand here you see two boxes this box and this box when you go to the node editor you see a circle will appear here this circle is very important very important circle when you click when you stand on this circle and you drag this circle down you see your ellipse becomes bigger it becomes bigger okay and when you click on these you get handles you get handles you don't see the handles yet but you push when you push this up oh come on where are you when you, when you push this up you see you can push it up and when you click on here you see you get handles you can move it you can move it you can create different things with this look look let me show you something really really quick when you drag it up you drag it up let's see you oh no not this one this is a handle this handle Oh, come on, where are you? you, you this can it can serve for so many things, so many, so many things in in an image. This can be a, a, a cute nose for a kid. Let's do that. This is a nose for a kid. Um, let's duplicate the control, duplicate, <coughs> and then we go back in. To our node editor because only with the node editor we can really move it like this on the handle I'm gonna bring it down a little bit bring it down you see what it becomes it becomes closed eyes like closed eyes mm -hmm. and then we duplicate it control T duplicate let's go here quick Move it to the other side. Flip it horizontally. You see, this nose is too big. It's too too big. Let's put it here. Okay. And then we, you see, this this can you can use them for eyes. You can use this for a nose to create a face. Okay. And I'm gonna duplicate it again. It's the same thing we had. Oh, come on, stay there. Duplicate. Excuse me. Bring it down here, and we jump or oh, flip it vertically with the V, and it becomes a mouth. You see that it becomes a cute mouth. Let's make it. You see, you can you can create a whole face only with the Bezier tool. These we created with the with the. Okay, these we created with a stroke like with this one. You select it and you select none. Then you get the, the, the line, the stroke line. You say oh I'm gonna cut it right here. Um when you select um ellipse, you get these ones. Okay, um this is what I wanted to show you guys really quick. So go practice and let me know what you what you get. Let me know what you get. Start making flowers and color the flowers with different colors and make a pattern down here. Make something. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have questions, don't forget to um, write them down in the comment section. And don't forget also to um, go to the discussion. Uh, um, place there and leave me some comments and leave me some questions thank you all so much
thank you don't forget to save your file control save thank you all so much bye